on the farm today. Today we are at the airport. Have you ever been to an airport? Today we're at Charlotte International Airport. That's in Charlotte, North Carolina. So Mr. Lambert had to go on a business trip. And so um, on Sunday I brought him down and today I am picking him up. And so um, I found a book and um, I thought you might like it. So um, what do you know about airports? So airports are where big, huge jets and airplanes fly. And so um, there's lots of different companies. There's lots of different schedules. Some go in the United States. Some go around the whole world. Um, they're really, really cool. Have you ever flown on an airplane? I have, but I don't enjoy it very much. Um, it is a shorter way to get somewhere. So if Mr. Lambert had driven um, to the place he was going for work, it would have been about 13 hours in the car. That's without stops. Um, but if he flew, um, it took us two hours to get here from home and then about two hours on the plane. So um, there is a lot of time waiting in the airport. Um, you have to be here quite early. Um, but still, you know, he has about six hours getting there instead of 12 to 13 hours getting there. So um, it cuts a lot of trips you know the time and half or even more sometimes um so um while we were on vacation um we also went to somewhere called the wright brothers national memorial in north carolina so um it is there in kitty hawk and um we hadn't been in quite a while um the last time that we went they were working on the museum part and so we were excited this year that it was all done and we could go and um, we had been to the memorial before and um, they had another little bitty part but it was not you know what it is now that is where the first airplane took flight in 1903 so that's a really long time ago so Orville and Wilbur Wright they were brothers um, and they owned a bike shop in Ohio and they were working on trying to get people to fly so at this time there were steam engines there were um, some cars <laughs> but not like the cars that we think about today um, but most people got around by horse and buggy or by walking and so if you lived in a city you know you were close to all the things you needed but if you were in the country like we are you know they would use their horse and buggy to get around a lot or carts or you know whatever so these two brothers um, started trying to figure out how they could get a person off the ground and so they were not the only ones that were doing this at the time this was like a big thing you know um, several different scientists and engineers and different people were working on this and so they came to Kitty Hawk the first time in 1899 and so they came four different summers after that and every year they would stay for a couple of months and they would work and get a little you know get a little bit done and you know waiting on parts and trying to figure things out and finally after all that work all of those years in 1903 on December 14th the airplane that they made went on its first flight and so when you go to the museum you get this um, really cool brochure so there they are there's Orville and Wilbur remember this is also the time when cameras um, were kind of new too they were these big huge box things um, but the brothers had brought one with them um, and they actually snapped their own picture so they had friends there that were helping them so um, this brochure um, shows you so there's the whole map of the place and here's the memorial it's on the t tippy top of the hill these are the two um, they call them barracks I believe um, one was 
where they lived and um it's, it's a replica of course it's not the same one because that's 120 years ago you know so um but it showed you you know they had tables and chairs and that's you know that's where they hung out remember they were here for several months you know in the summertime and even into the winter um on the last time they called it the hangar and the quarters and workshop so the hangar is where they um parked the airplane they made so I have a really big picture here so you can see, hopefully. So it took a lot of work. Remember, you know, that wasn't something they could just make, you know. <laughs> Remember, um, no internet, of course. Very few libraries. Um, there, was new, there were newspapers and, of course, colleges and things. But, you know, it, it wasn't something that was just easy to do. So while we were there, um, first flight, very cool. While we were there, um, Mr. Lambert said to me, he said, it's really cool to see where flight started. And I said, yeah, it is really cool. And he said, just think about it. If they um, didn't make airplanes, I couldn't do my job because Mr. Mr. Lambert um, works in a place where they work on airplane engines. And so, and he, you know, goes on airplanes every now and again, or has to go to a different airport to look at things or, you know, all kinds of cool things with airplanes. And he said, I couldn't do my job if these guys hadn't worked so hard. And I thought about that and I thought, yeah, that's true. That's very, very true. There are a lot of people who wouldn't have jobs. We couldn't travel the way that we travel. We couldn't go the places we go. You know, Mr. Lambert couldn't go to, he had to be in, you know, New Hampshire all week. You know, he couldn't be there. Well, he could, but it would take a long time in the car, you know. Um, and just saves a lot of time um, to be able to fly places. And so um, while we were there, he said that, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so um, the Wright brothers, uh, there are lots of books, lots of movies. I saw some on YouTube that I thought was pretty cool. Um, and of course the museum, you can go on their website. Again, it's Wright Brothers National Memorial, and that's in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Um, so you can go on their website and look around as well. They have um, some other pictures and things. Um, and if you know me personally and you want to borrow this <laughs> or anything, as always, you let me know, okay? Well, today's book I found is called Away in an Airplane. Now this, do you think, is this fiction or nonfiction? Look at the picture definitely fiction <laughs> definitely made up right the Wright brothers definitely non-fiction completely true happened you know lots of records so um, we're gonna try to read this book and I'll also try to get out and um, get some airplanes <laughs> away in my airplane and this is by Margaret Wise Brown author of goodnight moon who we love those and illustrated by Henry Fisher Riding along in my airplane. Over the clouds and through the rain. Riding along in my airplane, sometimes I meet a bird way up high in the sky, flying almost as fast as I fly but not as high. Riding along in my airplane. Out of the sunlight and into the rain. Then out of the clouds and the sun again, riding along in my airplane. He's been over lots of different places, hasn't he? Down below the people go, very small and very slow. They look like bugs and ants and flies. I wonder if they realize what they look like in my eyes. Do you hear any rhyming words? There are a lot of rhyming words in this book. 
So flies, realize, and eyes on that page. Riding along in my airplane. This one has lots of different airplanes. Can you see that? I, wa I wave to the sun. I shout to the rain. Then with the roar of my motors that drowns me out, I dash straight up in the air and wheel about. I plunge through the sunlight, I hurl through the rain. Then I glide down to the earth in my airplane. There he's back home. I hope you like this book. I hope you like seeing around the airport a little bit, especially if you've never been to one. It's really cool. And maybe one day you'll get to go to the Wright Brothers Museum. If not, you can always look online or watch some videos and learn about them, right? They're very cool guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you later. See you soon. Love you. Bye.